What's up my beautiful people? Welcome to another video with me, Re. Anyway, I wanted to make this today because I want to show off a couple things that I got yesterday. I wasn't able to record the video yesterday because I had some things going on, but here I am today. So, before I start, I do want to let you guys know, if you don't already know, I am a witch. I'm a practicing witch. Hence the, the little protective charms that I have literally everywhere. Um, I'm a green witch or nature witch and a uh, night witch. So, keep that in mind as I show you what I'm about to show you. So, I cannot believe I took this step and, like, went to this level, but... I ordered a Ouija board. Yay! I'm psyched, guys. I am literally freaking psyched. It's dangerous whether you guys... Uh, here, I'm going to tell you guys whether your Ouija board is cardboard or whether it's real cherry wood or whatever it's made of. It is still a portal, an ability to create a portal and bring something in. So, or allow something to attach itself to you. So, I cannot tell you guys not to use a Ouija board, but I can tell you guys to practice safety. Do not allow something to follow you. Meaning, please, when you guys talk to something, if you guys contact something, please make sure that that something knows to stay where it's at and you need to tell that something goodbye. This is the board. It is like the mother set it up in the first uh, season of Stranger Things. So this is kind of what caught my eye about it is that it's set up like that. I love Stranger Things. That show is the greatest. So I have not used it yet. I probably will make a video where I use it. But I need to find someone that can with me because again that's another rule with Ouija boards you should never ever mess with a Ouija board alone at least one other friend should be with you it is not a good idea to do Ouija board alone so keep that in mind guys that's the back <laughs> I'm so excited guys <laughs> I can't even begin to explain how excited I am but like I said I haven't used it Again, I will do a video when I do use it, and hopefully, I can get something. Uh, I did want to use this to try and contact my cousin because um, about three weeks ago, I'm still dealing with this. I'm not taking it very well. My cousin accidentally shot herself in the head and died. So, this was my attempt to try and contact her and tell her what I didn't get to tell her when she was alive. We had stopped talking for about a month or so because she got busy and when she died my heart was broken because that woman was like my best friend. I swear she was like a year older than me. She was almost 30 and uh, I didn't get to tell her goodbye or that I love her so maybe I can with this. That was my plan, originally. Once I use this board, I will not bring it home. I will find a place that is safe where I can bury it or hide it, where it's not gonna be touched, where if I need to use it again, I can go back and get it. But once this is used, once whatever like talks to me through it, I bring this home, there is a good chance that I could bring something home with it. So. This will be buried once I use it. Uh, that's the planchette. One other thing, guys, when you're doing Ouija, 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 however, <laughs> however you say it, when you're doing this, this should never touch this. It should never be upright. It, will, it should always be like that upside down. If it's upright when you're not using it, that's another way to invite something to come in. So, keep that in mind. Planchette should never touch it upright. So, 
you can't like completely keep the planchette from touching in the case but you do have to make sure it's upside down so that's part one of my my whys again i love stranger things it's the craziest show ever the back does say turn your world upside down it says grab your friends and gather around the ouija board Ask questions about the strange events that rocked the town of Hawkins, Indiana in 1983. Maybe an otherworldly power from the upside down or the spirit of Barb is listening. For those who do not know who Barb is in the Stranger Things, Barb was one of the girl's friend. Um, she was the one that was hanging out above the pool when the monster came and got her. She died in the Upside Down, so, spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it. Sorry guys. Um, before I show what else I got, I did want to show these off. This is a chakra pendant. You guys, I'm obsessed with anything chakra because it helps me align all my energies, so I'm obsessed with anything chakra. This is the other side of it. It's got a mandala on one side, that's the mandala, and it's got the, I always forget what this is, but yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> and then this pendant, also a chakra pendant. So, to explain that, I wear these because they are protective for me. As long as you believe something is protective, it will be protective. That is the whole idea about like vibrational energy and stuff. If you think it's protective, if you believe that it's protective, it will protect you. And that's why I wear everything chakra. Like, I'm not even kidding. So, another thing, uh, I have two spirit animals, which I'm always seeing. Uh, a wolf. This is a Viking pendant. This is actually closer to what I'm all about. I am Celtic and Norse. Uh, that's my bloodline. So, yeah, I saw this and it totally resonated with me. Look at the eye. That is why. That eye makes me feel like it's watching for me. Like when I wear it, it feels like it's protecting me. So, yeah, it's Viking wolf pendant. Wolves are a spirit animal. Every wolf, every time I've gone to a zoo and gone to the wolf, the the wolf, um, whatever you guys know. Every time I've gone to the wolves, the wolves always come up to me like curious, and people have freaked out because of it. But that's my spirit animal. That's one of them. My other spirit animal, and this isn't so much protective as, you know, like, this This is my other spirit animal, but it's not a protective charm. It's just, I guess it could be, because it, it is my spirit animal, but that is one of my favorite necklaces. It is fuzzy, and it's, it is a fox. This is a fox, not a cat. So, foxes are my other spirit animal um I just I've loved foxes since I was a kid you could say otters are my other spirit animal too I love otters otters are like great but anyway yeah so foxes and wolves they're two different types of canines so they are my spirit animals I do see them all the time. I see foxes all the time. I see wolves all the time. Maybe not in person, but they do show up like like in movies or I'll read about it or something on the news about wolves or foxes, whatever, will come up and that's how I know that they are my spirit animals because they're always wherever I look. So, moving on to the next thing I got in the mail. Uh, this is also a part of the Ouija board. Um, it is not a Ouija board, but I can do... I basically can speak with the elementals and get get an, uh, a look on how things are going. So, 
These are tarot cards, or oracle cards, as they're, as they're called. These are spell casting oracle cards. So, that is the box, that's the front. And the inside has an inscription that goes by. As I open this box, magic abounds, for my spirit connects with the answer it's found. Feeling my heart open up to one love, beauty surrounds me below and above. Vibrations now raised, inviting in light, protection in places I see with new sight. As I work with these cards, connect us as one, in peace and love, we are blessed, it is done. So mote it be. Again, uh, so mote it be is the ending of most prayers, so that can also be said, so it is done, or so mote it be. So, moving on, this is the guide that comes with it, and basic, the back of it says, spell casting has been used by witches since the birth of magic, and now that power lies in your hands. Each card of this deck connects you to the magical forces required for spell work to harness and manipulate the energies needed to bring about your desires. Discover how to work with moon phases, specific weekdays, and candle magic in conjunction with unwavering focus and intent through invocation and incantations. Each spell offers empowerment and freedom through the spellbinding act of transcendence as you harness natural magic to positively enhance your life. So, it literally, it has, like, um, it has the hail and welcome, and it has the interpretations of the cards for the spreads that you put. So, these are all the different cards and their interpretations, and it has the hail and welcome, the beginning of the book. It, it explains the art of spellcraft tells you what a spell is, how to do it like spell casting do's and don'ts, which I will make another video to explain because this one's getting a little long, but it explains the threefold law, which I follow. Threefold law is basically what you put out, you get back three times worse. So when spell casting, make sure you're not going to hurt someone because it will come back to you. It's, it's the rule of karma, basically. So. It has the magical moon phases, like crescent moon and waxing moon, waning moon, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it has the magical full moons, the magical weekdays, magical directions, elements, and connections. It tells you how to cast a spell, which I'll do another video on that too, but this is basically just showing you guys. So... Um, it tells you working with card spreads, you can do a one card draw, a three card draw, or a six card draw, which would be the, it's called a pentagram spread. And that's the pentagram spread. With that, you have to work with air, water, fire, earth, and spirit. So, um, yeah. So, and then it goes to the interpretations of the cards. And basically, the interpretations have it as they have the magical guidance, the spell incantation for that situation. Whatever you asked before the tarot spread, this is the spell to fix that situation, to help you fix that situation, whatever it is. So, um,. And then it has the magical meanings for that card as well. So for like animals, the magical meanings would be train as an animal healer and communicator, support and campaign for animal charities, a deceased animal companion is still very much with you, and an animal brings healing. So that's what, that's the guide. Um, these are... These cards are beautiful. This is my first tarot deck, you guys. It was a gift to myself, and I'm I'm so happy. This is my my grandmother taught me how to read tarot and how to do tarot. So 
that's where I got my skill. She was actually my step-grandmother. So this is one of the cards. This is the boundaries card. And they are just so beautiful. That's the financial help, or financial health, sorry. Um, family, talent, uh, the spirit guide card, the blessings card, like, these cards are gorgeous, you guys. I'm so happy with my first tarot deck. And I am doing readings. I have gotten back into the tarot reading, and I know what, like, I've gotten more comfortable with it, so I do, 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 do. <laughs> I can't talk. I do tarot card readings, so here in New Mexico, if anyone likes tarot card readings, I can do one online, and I can do one through YouTube as well, but you guys have to comment and give me your questions, um, that way I can do your spread, so, and you guys can do a one card draw, a three card spread, or the pentagram spread, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm psyched, guys. Like, the Ouija board and the tarot cards and all my protective stuff. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I got this, too, as well. Let me show you this real quick. This is another chakra item. This is a tapestry. And it is so beautiful, guys. I love this thing so much has all the colors and all the signs and all the mudras that you know. it doesn't have the mudras mudras are the hand like the hand positions that you put in order to help charge your your chakras but that's what that is so i hope you guys enjoy this video as much as i enjoyed making it um any questions or concerns or if you guys need a tarot card reading please do not hesitate to comment or let me know um yeah i'll help you guys out as much as you need and as much as i can so mwah, blessed be guys and i hope you have a wonderful day thank you so much for coming to my video mwah. bye